and welcome to American Dream TV Selling Knoxville. I'm your host, Tanya Price with Vision Properties Group. Today we're here in Lenore City to find out more about CAC or Kids First and how they help the community with cases of child neglect and abuse. And we're gonna go interview Christine, the executive director and find out more. We are here today with Christine Evans Longmire, the Executive Director of CAC, or Kids First. Thank you, Christine, for having us today. I appreciate you taking the time to meet with us, talk with us, and tell us about your organization. What does CAC provide or offer to those children or to the community? When a child is identified as having experienced some type of severe abuse, we are contacted to begin that service to the child, to the non-offending family, a forensic interview. That's where everything begins. Okay. And part of that is just the protocol for the state of Tennessee mm -hmm. for how we investigate child abuse allegations. Um, but once that child is known, they come here, we offer the forensic interview, and then the services continue to follow based on the disclosure. If the child needs a forensic medical exam, that happens here. Uh, the child jumps into therapy, they come back here for therapy. If the child has to testify against their offender at some point in time, they will come back here. Our advocates work with them for court prep. Okay. If non-offending family needs support and education, they come back here. The goal being everything happens here. Would you mind just like showing us around the facility, maybe taking us through the process of what it's like when a child does come in to come through? Yeah, I would love to. about this room. What is this room for? This is one of the playrooms for younger children accredited by the National Children's Alliance and part of that accreditation when that level of excellence is that you have separation of play areas from of course younger children to some of the older kids because okay. the older kids aren't really interested in this. We have all these toys and the toys are donated. Some of the toys we purchase, um, some things are made for our kids like the horse and the little wooden trucks down there. It's just where they come and hang out. We can play movies for them. We've got little pieces of artwork up here oh, okay. that they will draw or design for us and then we'll put those up on display. So it's, it's where they come. This playroom is for the older children. Mm -hmm. Part of the standard that we adhere to through the National Children's Alliance is that we have a separation of play areas. One that's very specific for younger children, one that's very specific for older kids. And this is that room. The kids that we serve are coming in here and they're typically three to 17, three okay. to 18. Mm -hmm. And the older children definitely typically in our minds it's somewhere between 12 and 13. Okay. They love to come sit on the futon, mm -hmm. go watch a movie. We've got this great Lego table that was donated by a young man here in the community as a scout project. We have three therapists here at the Child Advocacy Center and each therapist's office is designed based on that particular therapist okay. and some of their likes and things that they know are, are kid friendly. Mm -hmm. um, this one, for example, is a superhero theme and children enjoy superheroes. Yes. They can connect with them. Mm -hmm. And um, when the, the kids are coming in for therapy, they've already had the forensic interview. They are coming here for therapy because it's specialized. Our staff is specialized. Right. It's trauma focused, it's evidence based, and there's no charge for that specialized service here because of our funding. But the kids are coming back and um, we're going to start to address the trauma. So this is the interview room. Um, who exactly does do the interview and then tell us a little bit about the camera and stuff and how, what all that's for. So in the state of Tennessee, the forensic interviewers that offer these specialized interviews with child abuse victims um, have to be employed by Child Advocacy Center okay. because there are annual training hours they have to meet every year. Mm -hmm. There uh, is a protocol that they're responsible for. They have to be able to defend this forensic interview in a courtroom. Okay. So there are cameras in the room as you can see and then there are microphones in here as well. So that as the child's talking with the interviewer and we have two of them here, as the child's talking about what's happened, um, all of the people that are part of that case, all of those partners can watch in here mm -hmm. in real time as this child's talking about what happened to him or to her. 
and then the child's not going to at least three or four different agencies wow. where they do not have trained and experienced forensic interviewers. Well, thank you, Christine, for showing us around, taking this time to share about your organization. Absolutely. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for watching American Dream TV Selling Knoxville. I'm your host, Tanya Price. Thank you.